I just wanted you to have the best life possible. That's what a mother wants for her baby. Even if it means that she's got to make the ultimate sacrifice to make that happen. You really believe that, don't you? It's true. It was all worth it to protect you. Oh, no, no, no. no. Going around town and murdering people with a hook does not qualify as an act of love. Look, I, I might have been a little overzealous, but I saw those people as a threat to my daughter. I had to protect you the way that you would protect Ace. Oh, no, I am raising Ace. You abandoned me. No, I made a sacrifice for you. And now you're doing what you have to do for your baby. No, I am nothing like you. That's why you're here. You finally realized just how much we have in common. I think you're right about me getting out of Port Charles, and as soon as I get Ace back, no one in this town is ever going to see me. No, no, honey, you can't wait that long. You've got to leave now. Without my son? No, never. No, you don't have a choice, Esme. You don't have any allies, baby, or anybody to help you. I used to be terrified of you, and I know that I've said some unkind things to you. Who hasn't? But now that I've become a mother, I see things differently. Now I can appreciate how you always knew where I was and what I was doing. You stopped at nothing to protect me. It's the kind of mother I intend to be. And you will be someday soon. But remember what I said, honey. For now, you just gotta bide your time. Thank you, Heather. Mother, for everything you've done for me, but taking it slow doesn't work for me. I'm out of time. Funny, whatever you're thinking of doing, don't. Esme, listen to me. Esme, don't do it. Is this the part where the villain tells me her evil plan? How am I the villain here? My son was taken from me, literally by an evil billionaire and his lapdog son. I have crossed an ocean in pursuit of justice. Nothing matters to me but Ace. And until I have Ace safe in my arms, I want everyone who took him to suffer.